And then one of them tore my blouse. He told the other two to hold me down. I tried to get up. I pleaded with them. But then one of them slapped me in my face so hard. And before I knew it, I was being hit in my face and in my head over and over. I couldn't talk anymore. I tried. I don't even think I was able to scream. I don't know why. I couldn't. But they just wouldn't stop until... I keep trying to forget it, but it keeps repeating in my head over and over. And I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to be angry, but you have to know. And I'm so sorry because I know you've been through so much already. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're doing what? It's just for a little while. Mel? I know. Oh my god. Is it the money? Of course it's the money. I just... I can't do office work anymore. It makes me really stupid. I, I come home, I'm too tired to write. I mean, it's pointless. Oh my god, Mel, if you need money, I can give you money. I can't take your money. So move in with me. Oh, right, because doing phone sex makes a lot more sense than living with your sister. I can't stop trying to take care of myself. I'm not asking you to. I'm just saying, stay home and write. You're doing so well. I'm not doing well. I'm completely broke. Well, you're an artist. You're supposed to be broke. No one in America is supposed to be broke. Artists are. You can't marry him. You can't just leave me. I'm not leaving you. You're never here. You're always on tour. I'm gonna give all that up. Oh, don't be silly. I can do what I want. Why are you marrying him? Because he makes me feel special. But you don't know anything about that because you don't have anyone to make you feel special. Well, he, he's got it wrong then because you're not so special. I thought you'd be happy for me. <laughs>